sizes and inches. I'm trying to figure out what size of TV would fit best in my living room. Do you know how to calculate that? Sure. A good rule of thumb is to measure the distance from your seating area to where you'll place the TV, then divide that by 2.5. That will give you an approximate ideal screen size in inches. Okay, so if my couch is 10 feet from the TV area, that would be 120 inches divided by 2.5, right? Yes, exactly. That comes out to about 48 inches. So a 50-inch TV should be perfect for your space. That makes sense. And what about the resolution? Should I go for 4K? If you're getting a TV around 50 inches and it's within your budget, I definitely recommend 4K. It'll make a noticeable difference in picture quality, especially at that size. Great advice, thanks. I'll look into the 4K models then. You're welcome. Enjoy your shopping. Throw up, vomit. Have you ever been on a really rough boat ride? Yes, actually. Last summer, we went deep sea fishing and the waves were intense. I thought I was going to throw up the whole time. That sounds awful. Did you end up getting seasick? Unfortunately, yes. I tried to keep it together, but after a while, I just couldn't hold it in and had to throw up over the side of the boat. Oh no! How did everyone else handle it? Most of them were fine, but a couple of others also started to feel sick. The crew was really helpful, though. They gave us some ginger candies and water. That must have helped a bit. Did you manage to enjoy any part of the trip? Once the waves calmed down and I stopped feeling queasy, I actually had a good time. We caught some big fish, and the sunset on the water was beautiful. I'm glad it turned around for you. I guess that's the risk with any boat ride, especially in the open sea. Definitely. Next time, I'll be better prepared with seasickness medication. Break into, enter forcibly. Did you hear about the break-in at the neighborhood store last night? No, I didn't. What happened? Someone tried to break into the store around midnight. They smashed a window and triggered the alarm. That's awful. Did they manage to steal anything? Luckily, no. The alarm scared them off before they could take anything. The police arrived quickly, but the thieves had already run away. I'm glad they didn't get away with anything. Is the store owner okay? Yeah, he's fine. Just a bit shaken up. He's already got someone to fix the window and is looking into better security measures. That's a good idea. It's scary to think someone would break into a local store like that. Definitely. It's made everyone in the neighborhood more cautious. We're all keeping an eye out for anything suspicious now. It's a good reminder to make sure our own homes are secure, too. You never know when something like that could happen. Color preference.
I'm trying to decide on a color for my new living room walls. What do you think about blue? Blue is nice. It can be very calming. Are you thinking of a light blue or something darker? I was considering a lighter shade. Maybe something like sky blue. Do you think that would make the room feel larger? Definitely. Lighter colors tend to open up a space, making it feel airier and more expansive. Plus, sky blue would be great for creating a relaxing atmosphere. That's a good point. I also have a lot of natural wood furniture. Do you think that would go well with sky blue? Absolutely. Natural wood tones generally complement lighter blues really well. It could bring a nice, earthy balance to the room. Thanks. That helps a lot. Maybe I'll pick up some paint samples this weekend. That sounds like a great idea. You can see how the colors look at different times of the day with your lighting. Write off, cancel from accounts as a loss. Have you ever had to deal with a car accident? Unfortunately, yes. Last year, someone hit my car while it was parked. It was pretty badly damaged. That sounds terrible. What happened with the insurance? After assessing the damage, they decided to write off the car. It was too expensive to repair compared to its value. That's frustrating. Did they give you a replacement or compensation? They gave me a pie-out based on the car's market value. It wasn't enough to buy a new one, but it helped with the down payment for a used car. At least you got something out of it. How's the new car? It's good. I like it even more than the old one. Sometimes things work out better than expected, even if they start off badly. True. It's always tough when you have to write off something, but it sounds like it turned out okay in the end. Yeah, it did. Now, I'm just more careful about where I park. No more accidents, hopefully. That's a good lesson. Glad it all worked out for you. Taking pictures. Hey, could you help me take a picture with that statue over there? Sure, no problem. Do you want it in portrait mode or the regular setting? Portrait mode sounds good, thanks. All right. Just stand over there by the statue. Maybe put your hand on it. It might look more natural. Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. Smile. Got it. One second. I'm going to take a few more just to make sure we've got a really good one. Okay, done. Have a look and tell me what you think. Oh, these are great. Could you take one more from a lower angle? I read that it looks more dynamic. Sure thing. Let's try that. Okay, done. How about now? These are amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate your help. No problem at all. Glad you liked them. Bring about cause to happen. Have you been following the new city plan they're implementing to increase public green spaces? I heard something about that. They're trying to bring about more community involvement, right? Exactly. The goal is to not only beautify the city, but also to improve air quality and provide more recreational areas for residents. That's a great initiative. Do they have a timeline on when they expect to see significant changes? 
The plan is phased over the next five years. They're starting with the areas that lack green spaces the most. It's a big project, but the long-term benefits could be substantial. It sounds like a well-thought-out plan. More green spaces can definitely bring about a better quality of life. Are they incorporating any feedback from the community? Yes, there have been several town hall meetings to gather ideas and suggestions from residents. It's a collaborative effort, which is fantastic. That's good to hear. Getting the community involved not only helps in better planning, but also makes people feel a part of the changes. In the jewelry store. Hello, I'm looking for a gift. Could you show me some of your bracelets? Certainly. Are you looking for something in gold or silver? I think silver would be best. Right this way. We have some lovely sterling silver bracelets. Here's one with a charm design that's been quite popular. And this one here features natural turquoise stones. They're beautiful. How much is the one with turquoise? That one is $120. It's handmade and the stones are ethically sourced. That sounds perfect. Could you gift wrap it for me? Of course. We offer complimentary gift wrapping. Would you like a card included? Yes, please. Just something simple. All right, I'll take care of that. Will there be anything else? That will be all, thank you. You're welcome. I'll have this ready for you in just a few minutes. That's none of your business. the new restaurant that opened downtown? It's supposed to have an amazing selection of international cuisine. And I'm king of checking it out. This weekend. What are your plans? Actually, I did hear about it, but I'm not really in the mood for dining out these days. I've been trying to save money for a big purchase. I've been planning. What about you? Why are you suddenly interested in trying new places? I've been stuck in a routine for a while now, and I thought it might be refreshing to explore something new, especially with all the rave reviews it's been getting. Besides, it's been a while since I treated myself to a nice evening out. By the way, what's this big purchase you're saving up for? That's none of your business. I prefer to keep my plans to myself until they're more concrete. Anyway, how's your project at work going? Last time we spoke, you mentioned you were facing some challenges. It's been a roller coaster, to say the least. The deadlines are tight, and the expectations are high, but I'm managing. It's all about balancing priorities and staying focused on the end goal. Shut up. Stop talking. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Did you watch the game last night? Yes, I did. It was incredible. The last minute goal was unbelievable. I know, right? I couldn't believe it. The whole place went wild. My friends wouldn't shut up about it. They kept replaying the highlights over and over. That's hilarious. I can imagine. It's one of those moments that gets everyone talking. Yeah, but after a while, no why e. 
I just wanted them to shut up so we could focus on something else. It was a bit much. I get that. Sometimes people get too carried away. What did you think of the team's overall performance? I thought they played really well, especially in the second half. They seemed more organized. I agree. They really pulled it together after halftime. What about the other team? They were strong, but our team just had that extra edge. That's a great question. Have you decided on a destination for your summer vacation yet? Not yet. I'm torn between going to the mountains or the beach. What about you? I'm leaning towards a beach vacation. There's something so relaxing about the ocean. That sounds nice. But what do you usually do at the beach? Just swim and sunbathe? Mostly, but I also enjoy activities like snorkeling and paddleboarding. How about you? What do you do in the mountains? Hiking. And exploring nature are my favorite things. Plus, the cool mountain air is refreshing. That's true. I guess it comes down to whether you prefer relaxing or being active. What do you think you'll enjoy more? That's a great question. I love the idea of relaxing on a beach, but I also don't want to miss out on an adventure. Maybe you could find a destination that offers both. Some places have mountains near the coast. That's a fantastic idea. I'll look into destinations that offer the best of both worlds. Sounds like a plan. Let me know what you find. Maybe I'll join you. Will do. Thanks for the suggestion. Checking luggage. Hi, I need to check these two bags for my flight to Miami. Sure thing. Could I see your ID and boarding pass? Please? Here they are. Thank you. Let's put your bags on the scale. Hmm, it looks like this one is over the weight limit. It's going to be an extra charge. Unfortunately. How much will that be? It's an additional $25 for the excess weight. All right, I'll pay the extra. Can I use my credit card? Absolutely, just swipe your card here. Okay, you're all set. Here are your baggage claim receipts. Make sure to keep these safe until you pick up your luggage in Miami. Will do. Which gate should I head to? Your flight departs from gate 15. You still have some time before boarding starts. Great, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a wonderful flight. Hang on, wait a short time, hold tightly. Did you remember to bring the tickets for the concert tonight? Yes, I have them right here. Hang on, let me find them in my bag. All right, no rush. We still have plenty of time before we need to head out. Here they are. I made sure to put them in a separate pocket so they wouldn't get lost. Great thinking. It's going to be crowded. We should probably hold on to them tightly until we get inside. Definitely. Last time I went to a concert, it was so packed I almost lost my phone. I'll keep the tickets in my hand until we're through the gate. Good idea. And maybe we should grab something to eat before we go. The lines for food inside are always so long. That sounds perfect. 
there's that new burger place that opened up nearby. We could stop there. Let's do that. Hang on a second. I'll text Dave to see if he wants to join us for dinner too. Walk through, explain or demonstrate step by step. Hey, can you walk me through the process of setting up a new phone? Sure. First, turn on the phone by pressing the power button. Got it. What's next? Once it powers up, you'll see a welcome screen. Select your language and hit next. Okay, I did that. What comes after that? You'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Choose your network and enter the password. Done. What's the next step? Now, you'll see an option to sign in with your Google account. Enter your email and password. All right, I'm signed in. What do I do now? The phone will ask if you want to restore data from a backup or set it up as a new device. Choose your preference. I want to set it up as a new device. Great. Follow the prompts to set up your preferences, such as screen lock, voice assistant, and app permissions. Okay, I think I've got everything set up. Thanks for walking me through it. No problem. Enjoy your new phone. Traveling by train. Is this seat taken? No, go ahead. Great, thanks. It's my first time on this route. Does this train stop at Riverside Station? Yes, it does. Riverside will be the fourth stop from here. You've got about 30 minutes. Perfect, that gives me enough time to settle in. Is there usually a dining car on this train? Yes, there's one two cars back. They have some decent options if you're hungry. Or just want a coffee. That sounds good. I might head over there in a bit. Do you travel this route often? Pretty regularly, yeah. I commute for work. It's a nice ride, usually pretty smooth. Good to know. I'm traveling for a meeting in Riverside. I hope it's a scenic route. Oh, definitely especially as you get closer to Riverside. The views by the river are beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. Thanks for the info. No problem. Enjoy your trip. In the clothes store. Hi, I'm looking for a casual blazer. Something that I could wear to work or out in the evening. Do you have anything like that? Absolutely. We have a few styles that would be perfect. Are you thinking about a particular color? I'm leaning towards navy or gray. Something versatile. Right this way. Here's a navy blazer that's been popular. It's lightweight and has a modern cut. Very versatile for both day and night wear. And next to it, we have a gray one that's a bit more structured. I like the look of the navy one. Can I try it on in a size medium? Of course. The fitting rooms are just over there. Let me grab a medium for you. Thank you. While you're trying that on, I can also find some shirts to go with it if you'd like. That would be great, thanks. I could use a few new shirts. Perfect. I'll bring a selection to your fitting room.
I'm so glad we connected. I still can't believe we ran into each other at that conference last month. It had been years. I know, right? It was such a coincidence. I almost didn't recognize you at first. Same here. It's funny how we ended up in similar fields. And at the same event after all this time. I'm so glad we connected again. Me too. It's been great catching up over the last few weeks. We've missed out on a lot. Absolutely. And talking about our projects has been incredibly helpful. It's like having a sounding board. Who really understands the context? I was thinking the same thing. We should keep this collaboration going. Maybe we could even start a joint project. Or at least refer work to each other. That sounds like a great idea. With our combined expertise, I bet we could come up with something impactful. Definitely. Let's set up a time next week to brainstorm some ideas and see where it takes us. Perfect. I'll send you an invite. Looking forward to it. Own up, confess or admit. Have you ever broken something valuable and had to own up to it? Yeah, actually. Last year, I accidentally knocked over my friend's antique vase. I felt terrible. Oh no, that must have been awkward. How did you handle it? I had to own up to it right away. I apologized and offered to pay for the damages. How did your friend react? They were upset at first but they appreciated that I owned up to it. In the end, they said it was an accident and forgave me. That's good to hear. Owning up to mistakes is always the best policy. Definitely. Have you ever been in a similar situation? Yes. Once I accidentally spilled coffee on a coworker's laptop, I had to own up to it and report it to our manager. That sounds stressful. What happened next? The manager was upset. But since I owned up to it immediately, they appreciated my honesty. The company's insurance covered the repair costs. That's a relief. It's never easy to own up to mistakes, but it's the right thing to do. Absolutely. It builds trust and shows that you take responsibility for your actions. I agree. It's a valuable lesson in both personal and professional relationships. Cheer up, become happier. You look a bit down today. Everything okay? I've just been feeling a bit stressed out with everything going on. It's been a tough week. I'm sorry to hear that. Anything specific bothering you? It's a mix of work and personal stuff. Just feeling overwhelmed. I get that. Sometimes it all just piles up. Maybe we can do something to cheer you up. Like what? How about we go for a walk in the park? Fresh air always helps me feel better. Or we could grab some ice cream. That sounds nice. I think a walk might help clear my head. Great. Let's do that. And remember, things will get better. Sometimes you just need a little break to cheer up. You're right. Thanks for the suggestion. And for being there. Anytime. We're friends. After all, let's go get some fresh air and cheer up. Let's make it a day to remember.
Tomorrow's the big hike, right? How are you feeling about it? Excited, but a bit nervous. It's been a while since I tackled something that challenging. We'll take it slow. Plus, the weather is supposed to be perfect for hiking. Let's make it a day to remember. I'm all for that. Did you pack everything we need? I think so. Water, snacks, first aid kit, and extra layers in case it gets cold. How about you? Got my camera and the trail map. I'm planning to take plenty of photos along the way. That's a great idea. We'll want to capture the views from the top for sure. It'll be quite a sight. Definitely. And it's good to have a goal to reach together, especially after such a busy month. Absolutely. It's more than just a hike. It's a way to clear our heads and just enjoy being out in nature. Here's to a great adventure then. Can't wait to hit the trail with you. I couldn't agree more. Have you heard about the new cafe that just opened downtown? Yes, I did. I read some great reviews online. Have you been there yet? I went there yesterday. The ambience is fantastic, and the coffee is excellent. You should definitely check it out. That's good to know. I've been looking for a new spot to hang out. Did you try any of their pastries? I tried a blueberry muffin, and it was delicious. They also have a variety of vegan options, which is a plus. I couldn't agree more. It's so important for places to offer diverse options these days. Absolutely. They also have free Wi-Fi, which makes it a great place to work or study. That sounds perfect. I might go there this weekend to catch up on some work. Any recommendations on what to order? I'd recommend their cappuccino. It's perfectly balanced and not too bitter. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for the tip. I'll definitely give it a try. Let's make it happen. Have you seen the plans for the new community garden? Yes, I did. It looks like a fantastic idea. Do you think we can get enough volunteers? I think so. A lot of people in the neighborhood are excited about it. We just need to organize a meeting to get everyone on board. That sounds good. When do you think we should hold the meeting? How about this weekend? We could gather at the park and discuss the plans. That works for me. We should also create a flyer and post it around the neighborhood to get the word out. Great idea. We can also share it on social media to reach more people. Exactly. The more visibility, the better. Do you think we need to reach out to local businesses for support? Definitely. They might be willing to donate supplies or even sponsor a part of the garden. Perfect. Let's make a list of potential sponsors and start contacting them. Let's make it happen. This garden could really bring the community together. Agreed. It's going to be a great project for everyone involved. Checking in before boarding a plane. Excuse me, is this the line for flight 312 to Chicago? Yes, you're in the right place. Are you checking any bags today? Just this one suitcase. All right, I can take that for you. 
Do you have your ID and boarding pass ready? Yes, here they are. Thank you. Let's get your suitcase tagged. There you go, it's all set to go to Chicago. You can hand it over at the drop-off point just there. Thanks. By the way, which gate do we board from? You'll be boarding from gate 24. Boarding starts in about 40 minutes. So you have some time. Is there a delay, or is it scheduled like this? It's scheduled this way. You might want to grab a coffee or snack. There are several cafes nearby. Great. Thanks for your help. No problem. Have a safe flight. I'm feeling overwhelmed. How's your day going? Honestly, I'm feeling overwhelmed. There's just so much on my plate right now. I'm sorry to hear that. What's been piling up? Work has been relentless. And on top of that, I've got family commitments and a bunch of errands to run. That sounds tough. Have you considered taking a break to recharge? I'd love to, but I feel like I can't afford to take time off right now. Sometimes a short break can actually make you more productive. Have you tried delegating some tasks? I have, but it feels like everything needs my attention personally. I understand. Maybe you can prioritize and focus on the most critical tasks first. That's a good idea. I tend to get lost in the details and forget to see the bigger picture. It happens to the best of us. Remember, it's important to take care of yourself too. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to take a step back and reassess things. That's the spirit. Did you hear about the Charity Marathon next month? Yes, I did. Are you planning to participate? I am. I've never run a marathon before, but I'm excited to give it a try. That's the spirit. It's for a great cause, and it's a fantastic way to challenge yourself. Absolutely. I've been training for a few weeks now, trying to build up my endurance. How's the training going? It's tough, but I'm making progress. I can run five miles now without stopping. That's impressive. Keep it up, and you'll be ready in no time. Thanks. Are you thinking about joining too? I'm not much of a runner, but I'm considering volunteering. They need people to hand out water and snacks. That's a great idea. Every bit of help counts, and it's still being part of the event. Exactly. Plus, it's a good way to support everyone who's running. Definitely. Together, we can make this event a success. Agreed. Let's do our best to contribute in any way we can. Get over, recover from, an illness or setback. How are you feeling now? Have you managed to get over that flu you had last week? Yes, I'm finally feeling better. It took a full week, but I think I'm over the worst of it. That's good to hear. It's tough being sick and having to miss out on things. Definitely. I had to postpone so many plans. It's frustrating, but I'm just glad to be up and about again. Are you back to your normal routine then? Mostly, yes. I started going back to the gym today, but I'm taking it slow. Don't want to push it too hard too soon. Smart move. 
It's important to give your body the time it needs to fully recover. Exactly. I learned that the hard way. Trying to rush back to activities never helps. It's better to take the extra time to fully get over the illness. Absolutely. Here's to staying healthy and keeping it that way. Kickoff, begin or start, often used for sports matches. So, how did the weekend kick off for you? Did you start with your usual jog in the park? Actually, yes, I did. But this time, I kicked off a bit differently. I joined a local running group. There were about 10 of us, all pacing through the park at 7 a.m. It was refreshing. That sounds like a great way to start the day. I usually struggle to even get out of bed that early on a Saturday. I used to be the same, but I found that having a group waiting for me really motivates me to not hit the snooze button. How about you? How did your Saturday kick off? Well, mine was less sporty. I kicked off the weekend with a marathon session of my favorite show. I think I watched five episodes back to back. Sounds like a perfect relaxed morning. Sometimes, those are just what you need to recharge. That's a sign of progress. Have you seen the old theater downtown? They finally started the renovations. Really? That building has been dilapidated for as long as I can remember. That's a sign of progress. Absolutely. The plan is to turn it into a community arts center. They're hoping it'll revive the whole area. That sounds like a fantastic project. It could really bring some life back to that part of town. Yeah, and they're incorporating both modern elements and preserving some of the historical aspects of the original structure. I love that approach. It respects the past, but makes it functional for today's needs. Are they seeking community input? They are. There have been a few town hall meetings already, and they're encouraging locals to share ideas and suggestions. That's a smart move. Engaging the community will definitely help ensure the project's success and relevance. For sure. Once it's completed, it should be a great venue for concerts, plays, and art exhibitions. I can't wait to see the final result. It's going to be a major boost for the city. Think over, consider carefully before deciding. I've been offered a new job, but I'm not sure if I should take it. Can we talk it over? Of course. What are the pros and cons? Well, the new job offers a higher salary and better benefits, but it would require me to move to a different city. That's a big decision. Have you had time to think it over? I have, but I'm still undecided. I really like my current job and the city I live in. Moving would mean starting over. It sounds like you need to think it over some more. Have you considered the long-term benefits? Yes, the new job has more opportunities for advancement. But I'm also worried about leaving my friends and family behind. That's a valid concern. Maybe you should think it over and make a list of what's most important to you. That's a good idea. I need to think it over and weigh all the factors before making a decision. 
Take your time. This is a big step, and you want to be sure you're making the right choice. Thanks for the advice. I'll think it over and see what feels right. Pay off, finish paying a debt, yield good results. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could. So, I finally paid off my student loans last week. It's a huge relief to be free of that debt. That's fantastic. It must feel great to have that paid off. How long did it take? It took about 10 years. I started with a strict budget and gradually increased my payments. Seeing the balance go down over time was really motivating. Definitely. Watching your efforts pay off like that can be really satisfying. I'm working on my car loan now. Hope to have it paid off by next year. Good strategy. It's amazing how much you can save on interest by paying it off early. Exactly. And once it's paid off, I can start putting that money towards something else. Maybe even start saving for a down payment on a house. That's a smart move. Getting those debts paid off early really opens up a lot of financial possibilities. Good luck with your car loan. Masons, they hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous. Fall through. Fail to happen or complete. Hey, how did your plans for the weekend turn out? Actually, they fell through. We were supposed to go camping, but the weather was terrible. That's disappointing. What happened? It started raining heavily on Friday night, and the forecast said it would continue all weekend. We decided it wasn't worth the risk. Makes sense. Camping in the rain is never fun. Did you make any backup plans? Not really. Since our original plans fell through, we just ended up staying home and watching movies. That sounds relaxing, at least. What did you watch? We watched a few classics and some new releases. It turned out to be a nice, low-key weekend. Sometimes those unexpected changes can be a good thing. Any plans to reschedule the camping trip? We're thinking about it. Maybe next month, if the weather is better. That sounds like a good idea. Hopefully, it won't fall through next time. Catch on. Become popular or understood. Have you noticed how quickly electric scooters have caught on in the city? Yeah, it's incredible. Just a year ago, you hardly saw any and now they're everywhere. I think it's because they're such an efficient way to navigate through traffic. And they're pretty affordable too. True. Plus, they're environmentally friendly compared to cars. Do you use them often? I started using one last month. At first, it was just out of curiosity. But now I use it almost daily for my commute. It's faster than the bus during rush hour. I've been considering it, especially since my office moved. I'm just waiting to see if they really are as convenient as everyone says. You should give it a try. It might catch on with you too, especially during the warmer months. There's also an app that makes it easy to locate and pay for them. That sounds good. I'll download the app and see how it goes. Maybe I'll become a convert too. Let's agree to disagree.
Have you seen the latest superhero movie that everyone's talking about? Yes, I did. I thought it was fantastic. The action scenes were incredible. Really? I felt like the story was all over the place. The plot didn't make much sense to me. I can see where you're coming from, but I think the visual effects and character development made up for it. I don't know. The characters felt pretty flat to me, especially the villain. There was no depth to his motivations. I actually liked the villain. His backstory was tragic, and it added a layer of complexity. I guess we just have different tastes in movies. I prefer a strong storyline over flashy effects. And I enjoy a visually stunning film with great action. It keeps me entertained. Well, let's agree to disagree. Everyone has their own preferences. Fair enough. It's what makes discussions about movies so interesting. Absolutely. Different perspectives can make the conversation more dynamic.